let's celebrate 5,000 followers on Instagram. So in this tutorial, I'll go through a few techniques that, that I mainly use on my YouTube channel. So being carbon fiber, so we'll do a nice infusion of a special weave. We'll go through some 3D printing and then some resin casting as well. So as it might seem weird to make a watch for yourself, for me it's more like, first of all, uh, sending a sign of gratitude to all of you subscribing and following me but as well for me like a good excuse to combine different techniques in one tutorial um, keep note that at the moment of uploading this video we're close to 90,000 subscribers on YouTube I promise you like a special good uh, tutorial project for 100,000 on uh, subscribers on this YouTube channel so make sure to subscribe leave a like and comment uh, on this tutorial as well so first of all we'll make a carbon fiber plate so this is like a special weave um, i decided to use it for this tutorial because i thought it might have some good uh, results here so this is a spread toe twill weave um, 160 gram square meter uh, carbon fiber so it has a special look because it has like a thick weave so like the the weave that you know from carbon fiber but like in a bigger dimension so that's why I chose to pick this one you can buy this weave on um, easy composites so 160 grams it's very hard like uh, to prevent it from fraying what you see me doing in the previous shots is using some fusion fix and then I add a backing layer um, so it's like glued on but like in a, in a soft way and it will prevent the weave from splitting while handling it so in like a regular setup of it doing an infusion i'm using the infusion mesh so first peel ply then the infusion mesh i've added the resin in and out and here i'm preparing the bag to pull a full vacuum so you'll see me like positioning the bag before pulling the full vacuum uh, to make sure that all the resin lines are aligned correctly so for the logo itself i've went into fusion 360 i've quickly made like a design um, I thought it, it looked nice to have like the Instagram logos looking at zeros to make like a five five thousand um, image this way so for the printing I'm using my Android 3 s1 um, on the carbon fiber bed still holding well if you've missed these tutorials they'll pop up in the top right or in the description below so these are prints at 0.2 layer height because it's not that important uh, the finish uh, but still looks good so I've used um, a thick um, layers on the outside and in so the wall thickness i'll make some special tutorials about about 3d printing i guess uh, but this one was like mainly about making just the logo so here we're preparing everything to do the resin infusion so i'm using the in2 epoxy infusion resin from easy composites and as you might or might not know it's in the description of the products as well you can mix uh, fast and slow harner to create like your own speed of hardening and curing um, the most difficult thing is like finding a good balance between having it to cure as fast as possible because you want to proceed with your project uh, in a fast way but avoid having it to cure too early before the infusion is done so here you see me like doing an infusion it's fast forward it took about 30 minutes in total but you will see me throttle like with the resin just to create like the good flow because you have to know resin will always follow the fastest part so with less uh, resistance that would be the infusion mesh but the uh, unidirectional weave that we've used so that twill weave um, on the bottom will have like a, a good resistance of flow because it's so flat against the glass so you'll have to throttle it just to prevent um, air pockets or not having it to be fully saturated um, so that's a more important thing like while mastering resin infusions is to know how fast you want your resin to grow to go through your fibers so here are the results so it's pinhole free it's it's a good result the marks you see are from the release agents and like a few scratches on the glass uh, but we'll proceed by shaping the uh, part now and sanding it flat again so you'll lose all those like little imperfection um, that you had from your release agents here so I'm using a 400 grit I'll go over the entire plate and sand like just against the weave so you don't have to go like you don't want to go through the weave um, and then you'll get like a matte 
glossy finish. So the cool thing about carbon fiber is that it has a different reflection and different um, viewing points, uh, creating that nice like gray dark weave that you get here. So now I'm positioning the letters of the logo. Um, so this is uh, glued on using uh, CA glue. It works very well, very fast. Uh, do some testing if you want to try it. Uh, because the chemistry of like different CA glues can be different. Um, but for me, I know that this one from Colat is working well. So if you missed like the previous tutorial about the 4K subscriber button, it's on the top right now, so you can check it out as well. Uh, here I'm just preparing the mold box, added some release agents on the outer mold box, so the big box that you see now, because at the end I'll want to remove that. So here we'll be using some glass cast to pour the resin like above and around the letters and here like some things went like a bit wrong i was aiming for different results you can compare it like you're preparing your hard for hard um, floor woods uh, like the 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 floor that you want to stain and then you add too much stain and then you think it will turn out okay but then at the end it's all too dark and then there's no way back to to restart it so i've used a bit too much of resin uh, pigment here i wanted to have it like in a translucent way so you can still see the weave beneath it um, it's one of the first time that i've used the purple uh, pigment and it's pretty strong so you don't have to use a lot so the idea was to fill everything around and still have the carbon fiber visible um, so I hope you'll still like this this video. Um, I know the result is a bit disappointed, but maybe it's like a way to improve on the next one. So everything goes into the oven after curing. So in this video, it might look like it's went very fast, but the glass cast cured for four days at room temperatures. And then I put it into the oven to do a post cure. So the two little like objects you see here, so like the, the skeletons, um, like I've did this tip in previous tutorials as well have like a small resin um, Casting mold so it, this one is being from uh, silicon just to add like the extra resin that you have from mixings So you still have like a, a nice little object Sometimes if I have if I have kids in the workshop, they can pick one um, So it's a nice little thing to have instead of having your cup uh, still being filled with some leftover resins so now about the sanding so I always start like to remove like the little edges these are sharp and then I proceed with my Mirka sander to remove um, like the the imperfection you still have on your top surface sometimes it will shrink like a bit and then you can like flatten everything using uh, a 150 or in this case a 180 uh, grit to, re, uh, to put it all flat again. So here things went a bit wrong. So it's a small object. Um, decided to use the, the router to make like a, a curved edge on the outside. Um, had some issues, but was able to recover it. And then we're back to the sanding. So I'll go quickly through this, uh, but mostly like you double the grit of your sanding paper. I went with a 150, 320, uh, 500, 800, and then thousand at the end so i'll just show you like after sanding because i know sanding is quite boring to watch on youtube uh, but you'll see the results each time after every sanding grid um, only at 500 i start with wet sanding as well um, just because like it gives me a better finish so this is after 800 and then you'll see just before the polishing state this is 1000 so i mainly go to 1000 with these resins uh, because it's good enough like this time again the more time you put into it the better the results will be so this is the polishing state don't stay too long on one spot because this is quite of an aggressive way of polishing and it might melt your resin on some spots so here is after the uh, like the, the tough polishing this is the soft polishing and these are the results so I was aiming to see like the carbon fiber through it, it didn't. Um, I'll might redo this in a future tutorial. If you don't want miss, to miss that one, make sure to subscribe, uh, leave a like, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.